Greetings friend, I will show you how to solve the final countdown by Philip Newman using set equivalence theory. Click on the link below if you want to try it yourself. And with that, it's solving time. A puzzle that is good for set is one where you see a clumps of a lot of the same digits, in particular rows, columns, or blocks. So in this one, if you look across rows 2, 4, 6, and 8, you'll notice they all have just high digits, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we want to include all those. And I am using Hadoku for this. Um, if you do the puzzle in the link below, it takes you to the CTC, Kraken Encrypted app. Um, I don't own that app, so I try not to use that in my puzzle solving, but it's a very good app as well. After we got all these rows down, look at the uh, columns. You'll notice it has the digits, well, one, two, three, four, and actually five. But we're going to focus on the one, twos, threes, and fours, and I'll show you why. But we can kind of just highlight and pretty much cover all of the givens by doing this. And now I'm going to do one step further. I'm going to actually highlight and include in the purple these outside columns. Even though there's nothing in it, it's going to make for an easier solve, believe it or not. And Philip did show this, so I'm not, it's not like I came up with this way to solve it, but it's it's going to be perfect for the tutorial version. So now, if you remember, everything that overlaps, we know is going to be contained in both. We don't care about what's contained in both. We care about what's in the orange that we can, you know, what about that's a given in the orange cell that we can figure out in one of the, one of the unknown purples and vice versa. Which one of these purples can we help to solve these missing orange? So let's look at the purples. Uh, if you have a note, like we know this five's in purple and we kind of know where one of the fives is in the orange, you can print, you can eliminate those. Like this five right here, we already know, you know, our corresponding five is in the orange. Same thing here, you see this one? You can whoops, we can eliminate that one with that one. We don't care about those because we already know where those fives are in, in vice versa colors. We do care about is now these missing orange. How many missing orange do we have? One, two, three. Hmm. Okay. How many filled in purple do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, now I might go, okay, you got three missing and six. That doesn't help us. Okay. Can we solve any of these orange with normal methods? And the answer is yes. You'll notice there's a five here and a five here and a five here. It means that this has to be a five. So I can solve that for five. Great. So now there's two missing digits in the orange. And we said we have one, two, three, four. We have four, five, six digits. Well, this is unequally, uh, it's imbalanced. And why it's imbalanced is because we have five sets of the rows, one through nine in purple, and only four sets in the orange. So here's the key thing. You can take away one complete set of these digits, one, two, three, and four, from the orange because we're only looking at four sets of the orange, right? Because of the imbalance. What that means is that we can see there's a one, a two, a three, and a four right here. That's it from an, the additional set of purple. So if you take those four away, how many remaining cells do we have in purple that we know? Three and a four, two, we have two cells. How many missing do we have in the orange? Two. So you, you know these have to be a three and a four. Crazy, huh? But that's how it works. And since this is four is right here, that can't be a four, that has to be a three. And that has to be your four. So we just solved all of the orange cells. Awesome. Okay, so let's look at putting the orange into the purple. Since it's imbalanced, we're gonna add an extra set of the digits, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to the purple. So how many do, and you can disregard a three and a four. We don't care about the where the three and four are, uh, we're only caring about five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how many filled in do we have in the orange that are five, six, seven, eight, nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, right? We didn't care about those two because they're already found, but we, we care about the other 12. How many missing do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 
Okay, so we have 17 unfilled. We have 12 that we know about. Remember, we're adding an extra set of 5, 6, 7, 9. So we're adding those five extra digits. So what we know using set is that all these purple have to contain the digits 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The 12 we know about plus that extra set of those five digits. Yeah, I understand? And this is so cool. That's why you want to fill in these extra rows. Because now I can just go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, and you'll notice it pops in the red saying, hey, those can't be right. Because like the 5, 6 here means that this can't be a 5, 6. So I'll, I'll fix all those out. And this gives us additional information. The additional information is look at the columns on the outside and the rows on the outside. So if I know 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are in row 1 in the purple, well, what has to be in the white? It has to be the other four digits. So this is actually a naked quad of the digits 1, 2, 3, and 4. And it works the same on the outside uh, column as well. Because, you know, these aren't, we don't know what they are. They can't be 5, 6, 7, 9. They have to be 1, 2, and 3, and 4. So you can work on the outside of this grid. And now I can fill in the outside, 1, 2, 3, and 4. You can't necessarily do it on the inside because we don't quite know what some of these overlapping digits are in the middle. But you can on the outside, since you have all these are five purple, you know what the four non-purple are. They're going to have to be the digits 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's get rid of those. And from here, you're going to be able to solve this whole puzzle without making any more candidates. We're going to be able to just solve this logically. And if you watch my solve of this puzzle, it's not that easy. Philip does give me a hint that you, the digits kind of go in order. Um, but the first thing you'll notice, probably right here, is that these digits right here, 1, 2, 1, 2, you know, that's a pair. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, and then if you want to focus right here, since this is a pair, one and two can't be anywhere else in the cell. One, two, you got three, a four, five, six, seven, and a nine. So this has to be an eight. That's kind of key. Once we can solve this for an eight, we're going to be able to start solving the rest of this puzzle. And what we'll be able to start solving with is we can now go to the fives. So you notice the five covers this cell. Uh, and you look in the purple, there's only one other five we can place, right? So it has to be right here. And then we can go over here, and where can a 5 be here? It can't be in this white cell. It's not in these other ones, so this has to be a 5. And then you have a 5, 5. Uh, let's cut across this way. No, nope, let's do 5s. Five, 5, 5. Where can a 5 be right here? Well, it can't be there because of column 7. So the 5's got to be there, and then we can solve that for a 5. And the 5's are done. That's it. So let's go back to this cell right here, right? What can that cell be? Well, it can't be a 1 or 2. It can't be a 3 or 4. It can't be a 5. It could be a 6. It can't be a 7, 8, or 9. That's a 6. This is now a 7-9 pair, and now that we solved that for a 6, you see these two 6s coming up? There's only one place left for a 6 in block 2. It has to be right there. And this creates a 7-8, so you know that that's a 9 and that's a 7. But we'll, we'll stay on the 6s here. 6-6, six, six, there's only one place left for a, you know, this could only be a 6 now. Cool. Okay, after solving that 6, uh, we can come down here, and what you'll see is a 6-8, six, 6-8, eight, six, eight, and then an 8-9, so that's got to be a 9. And now this is a 7, and that's a 6. And now we solve, you know, this is an 8, and this is a 7. You see, now we're just going to be able to solve almost all of these purple. It's really pretty pretty powerful here. And so you look across here, that has to be a 7, that has to be a 6, that's an 8, that's a 9. And we have solved all the purple cells. And so after solving all the purple cells, we can do a little bit more cleanup. So let me check the 6s real quick. Uh, 6, 6, 6. And I'm not meaning anything demonic there. So I'll say 6666. Six, six, six. How about that? And there's only one place left for a 6 right here. Boom. Okay, let's go to the 7s. Uh, there's only one place for 7 in block 8 because of this 7 right there. And these two come across, rows 8 and 9. And only one place left for 7 here. And now we have all the 7s done. And let's look at the 8s. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, uh, 8. Where can an 8 be here or here? Let's see here. 8, 8, and 8. So this is an 8, and that makes an 8 right there. So all the 8s are done. Let's go with the 9s. And the way Philip designed it is he kind of wants you to go in order of the, of the cells. 
but you can see with the colors on with set the puzzle just it falls apart and it's kind of a fun different way to solve a sudoku i think uh, i missed this eight right here right now we got all the eights so you're leaving one here a two three and a four let's look across here we're just missing a two in row seven so i can solve that for two three and four get a one two uh there are four coming out here so that's the only place that can be a four and I'll try to just focus on getting the fours knocked out right now. Four, four, four. That's the only four left in block four because of this four right here. And because that four, that's the only four left right there. And which means this has to be a four. And did we get all the fours? Yep. Um, that one's staring me in the face. So now I'm just kind of working my way down with the ones and twos, clean up. And you'll see, you know, it's just, it's just fun. This is fun. This is easy. And so you pretty much now down to, you know, ones, twos, and threes. That's a one. You got a one, two, three here. Uh, so that's a one, three. So here's your two. And so it makes that a three, that a two. All right. One, three, one, three. So now that's a three. That's a one, three. Here's your one. What's right here? Two. Got that as a one. And what we have left? A one and a three. Here's your one. There's your three. Please, if you want to support this channel further, I have Buy Me a Coffee. There's a link below. I would love to support you and come up with new resources to help you. Check out some of these other videos from my channel that you might have missed from my month's Doku. Thank you all so much for watching.